The rise in resale prices of condominiums picked up pace in August, reversing two consecutive months of decline as more units were sold. Resale prices climbed 1% in August, bouncing back from the 0.2% dip in July, according to flash figures from real estate portals 99.co and SRX released on Tuesday. Property analysts attributed the condo price growth to housing board flat upgraders, supported by the robust HDB resale market. As there was a lack of new condo launches in August, demand spilled over to the resale market, said Hutton's Asia Chief Executive Mark Yip. On a year-on-year -year basis, condo resale prices were up by 7.6%, with those in the suburbs rising the most at 9.8%, data showed. Orange T. Tai, Senior Vice President of Research and Analytics Christine Sun, noted that resale prices in the suburbs rose 1.6% in August. It was the steepest growth across all regions after more projects there obtained their temporary occupation permit top in recent months. The outside central region forms the bulk of home supply and is considered more affordable than other private homes in the other regions. Therefore, even when suburban home prices rise, there will still be demand, thus propping up prices in the long term, she said. Resale volume rose 3%, with an estimated 880 units changing hands in August, up from 854 units in July. However, compared with August 2022, resale volume declined by 16.6%. The number of transactions was also lower than the five-year average for the month of August. Propnex Realty Head of Research and Content Wong Su Ying said the year-on-year -year declines resale condos in the core central region were affected the most could be due to the impact of April's property cooling measures. When additional buyers' stamp duty ABSD rates for foreigners doubled from 30% to 60%. She noted that transactions by foreign buyers remain low, accounting for 1.9% of total resale volume in August. The total resale volume did rise slightly from 1.5% in July, based on caveats lodged. Only 15 non-landed resale private homes were bought by foreigners in August. With 13 of the units purchased by buyers from the US, and one each from Indonesia and Myanmar, Ms. Wong said. Data also showed that in August, more buyers purchased new condo units that were yet to be completed, commonly referred to as subsale transactions. Such transactions accounted for 11.6% of total transactions in August, an increase from 0.5% in July. ERA Singapore Key Executive Officer Eugene Lim said the larger proportion was due to the 26 condo projects that will obtain their top by the end of 2023, including mega developments such as Treasure at Tampines, the Florence Residences in Hogang, and Avenue South Residence in Bukit Mera. More first hand investors may choose to sell their properties at this point when they cross the three-year mark and are no longer liable for seller's stamp duty. This will also save them the hassle of looking for a tenant amid competition with other investors within the mega-developments, he said. The lion's share of condo resale transactions in August was recorded in the suburbs at 51.2%, homes in the city fringes accounted for 31.2%, while the remaining 17. 5% were in core central Singapore. The highest transacted price was $11 million for a freehold 2,831 square foot unit at Free Orchard by the Park. In the city fringes, the highest transacted price was $6.3 million for a freehold 2,444 square foot unit at Alto in East Coast. In the suburban areas, a 2,239-square-foot 2 unit at Kensington Park Condominium, a 999-year 
leasehold condo in Serangoon. Sold for $3.26 million.